Here's the Foxtrot Rag. It's a tune that was written by Gordon Stobie from Nova Scotia. And I guess it's kind of a cross between a Foxtrot and a Rag. And it's a great tune to um, kind of get your feet wet playing swing or playing Foxtrots as we call them in uh, Canada. Um, and it gives you that swing rhythm, that... <laughs> rhythm you want to get. It's like a long, short, long, short, long, short kind of thing. Um, so there's a lot of repetition and there's a lot of um, predictability in this tune. So like I said, it's a great one to get um, to dip your toes in the water in the world of swing as far as foxtrots and stuff go. So the first part's in D, the second part is in G, and uh, we start with a little kind of a scale going up on the D string. So we go... <laughs> So it goes open one, two, then jumps to open A, A, one, A. And it's all separate bows starting on a down bow. And we do that lovely phrase twice. So get used to that phrase because it happens a lot in this first part of the tune. Um, the next section, we're alternating between one on A and three on A for a bit. We go... And then we go E, three, one, open. So just making that uh, phrase together. And that's a really long A at the end. So let's piece it together from the start. Well, here we are at the advanced tutorial for the Foxtrot Rag composed by Gordon Stobie. And this is a tune that uh, kind of just intros you into the world of playing swing or um, just, you know, kind of fox trots, just, you know, anything other than waltz jig reel that we play a lot of in Canada. Uh, playing for dances, fox trots are definitely a staple. So um, this could be the first of many that you learn, hopefully. Um, so what we'd probably like to do in something like this is maybe just some droning because we're in the key of D and the key of G. So droning kind of lends itself well to those keys for sure. Um, so right from the start, we can go... <laughs> You know, and even keeping, uh, when you're playing the open A and the A string notes, you can play that open D underneath. And when you're starting, you're starting playing notes on the D string, droning the open A underneath. So it'd be... And the trick is, um, just keeping your bow in the same spot. Even though you're moving over to play fingers on the A string, you're not having to move your bow over. You can just keep it in the one spot. And then maybe a slide here. Now here you might want to do a little push of that last note and go. You know, it'll make that note even longer, but it kind of gives it something to escape that, you know, the kind of square box that we're playing in with that 4-4 four, four rhythm. So we are swinging, but, you know, we're kind of taking it a little further by pushing some of the notes ahead of the beat. So it just kind of makes it a little more fun. So let's just try that.